I love books. I love their smell. I love to have four to five on my bedside, so when I can't sleep, I read. I love going to bookstores where there are hundreds of books on the shelves. Books are amazing. You can read them while walking, laying down, or sitting. You can go back to a page easily just by remembering the page number. Kindles don't do that well. For the past three years, we've been really evolving away from books. Did you know that 40 million adults in the U.S. have low reading skills and that 30% didn't read a book in 2018? It's obvious that book reading is decreasing. It's difficult and painful to think that one day books will disappear, but it seems to be the sad truth. We're advancing in technology so fast that it's obvious. They will be replaced with technology even more distracting than phones, video games, and things like that. And that makes me sad. Let's take an example like the Bible. It's the best-selling book of all time. More than 4 billion copies sold in the last 50 years. And then what? We just throw it away? Do we forget about all the books we love? Do we forget about all the books we read as kids? No, I don't think so. The first printed book was created in 868 AD, and since then, I don't think there has been an invention better than them. Same thing for arts. Think about the famous Mona Lisa from Leonardo da Vinci. Would you prefer look at it as a lifeless phone background, or actually see it feel the lifeful atmosphere in the famous French museum, the Le Louvre? The future generation should teach their kids that even if they have phones, they should read, even if it's only 10 to 20 minutes a day. They will learn to love books and will teach their kids who will teach their kids, and we might succeed and books will stay alive. I know technologies can be really exciting, even for bibliophiles. For example, there are some really smart AIs that can read an author's book really fast, and when asked the AI any subject, it will tell you about it the way the author would tell it in a written voice similar to the author's. It can also mimic a famous author's voice fairly well and are getting more consistent with their estimations. I'm not sure if you understand how outstanding the AI algorithms are. Now, I wouldn't say AIs are bad. However, what if one day they will take authors' jobs and authors won't exist anymore? Have you ever thought about that? Well, I have, and I think we should do something about that too. So, what can we do to save books from extinction? I believe the new generation might save them. I believe they'll not be as attached to their phones as millennials. This is why I think this. In my class, more than three-fourths love reading and the rest don't hate, but they just don't read a lot. My generation had much less access to iPads than kids born after 2009, the introduction of, I of the iPad. We had Kindles and books, and the majority in my class read books, not Kindles. We should not stop reading books. I'm sure you once had a toy or something that you really loved, and one day you just stopped playing with it, and now you're telling yourself, I wish I still had that thing. Well, it's going to be the same thing for books if we also stop reading them, though we'll be no longer written and published. And I am here to say for posterity that I will miss their smell and the weight of a 200-page paperback and the feel of a library filled with fascinating books. Thank you.